and Bruce and you're watching 2K Sports. A Tuesday night NBA presentation. It'll be Tyson Chandler and the New York Knicks facing off against Brooke Lopez and the Brooklyn Nets. And we're ready for the tip out in Brooklyn. Kevin Harlan and the crew with the call. And we see a while ago the Nets getting prepared for the task at hand. Hello and welcome everyone to another exciting edition of the NBA on 2K Sports. Joined to the booth with Clark Kellogg and Steve Kirk. This is Kevin Harlan. Look now, State Farm presents the starting lineups. And guys, what do you think we'll be seeing from Gerald Wallace in this one? Well, they call him Crash for a reason, Kevin. I mean, his ability to create havoc on the floor, diving for loose balls, getting offensive rebounds. He's just got that combination of size and speed at the 3-4 position that is really tough to deal with. And his athleticism really elevates that hustle play of his to an elite talent. I mean, he covers a lot of ground getting in passing lanes. And one other thing is when he gets in transition, we all know he can finish. Last game for the Nets, the loss to the 76ers in Philadelphia. And guys, had their free throw shooting been anywhere near up to par, I think it would have changed everything in that game. No doubt about it. I mean, there is a carryover effect when you're not having success at the line. It infiltrates other parts of your game. And this really is such an interesting time for the Nets because the move to Brooklyn, I think, has elevated the image of that franchise. You know, they used to be the, the little brothers to the Knicks and, you know, playing across the river in New Jersey. But now they basically are sharing the spotlight in the Big Apple, and it's going to be a lot of fun to watch. Shots good by Anthony. He can cause the defense just so many problems. There aren't many ways to slow him down. Here's Williams. Rebound by Anthony. Yeah, Nets are now in one of the premier locations, Steve, for any sports franchise, even if it was a short move. And, and I think Clark, with that move, the whole mindset has seemingly changed. Well, you can certainly call them a big market team now, and a lot of free agents will probably be interested in signing there. So definitely they've got a working advantage in their favor now. And that comes off the assist by Raymond Felton. And it's six points for Carmelo Anthony. And here's Johnson outside. Wallace dishes to Evans. Johnson right side. The 17-footer goes down. Johnson's got five now. I think he anticipated that the defense would be there, and that's why he leaned in like that. He feeds it to Shumpert. Shumpert off the pick from Chandler. Oh, how oh, about oh. that basketball that fan? Beautiful. Wow. Boy, that's some physical basketball out there. I'm glad I'm not in the middle of that. <laughs> a hard pick and an assault on the button. Old school stuff there. <laughs> yeah, there was a lot to like on that play. Special thanks to Sprite for that sweet replay. Here's Felton. He's coming off a 10-point game against the Warriors in Oakland. Four seconds left. Good on the shot. Felton's got his second basket. You know, Kevin, they were a step late on their defensive rotation. And that helped them get right to the rim. And a good game so far as we conclude. Next Sunday. And the second quarter getting underway. No team gaining an edge so far. And looking at what we've seen from the Knicks so far, what do you guys think? Solid first quarter for this club. They came out strong and they put together some nice momentum here. Steve, I like the looks they've gotten on offense. A lot of good ones. Watson out there with Johnson. Then it's Blotch. Then there's Bogans. So that's the lineup for Brooklyn. And for Marcus Camby, who was never a big-time scorer, his offense actually continues to wade now. He's a uh, guy who will get a few putback baskets, but not somebody you throw the ball to on the block. Here's Kidd. Off on the layup. He's always going to have a difficult time finishing when the defense is in his face like that. Down low. Knocked away. Passes it to Blotch. Releases. Rebound by Anthony. And you know, with Camby, 
One of the things he likes to do offensively is stay in that high post area. He's such a good mid-range jump shooter, and he's also an excellent passer for a big guy, but mostly he likes to dive in for those offensive rebounds. He gets a running start, and with his length and athleticism, he's hard to keep off the board. You know those moments late in games when one shot could win it or lose it for you? And nobody's a better candidate to take that shot than he is. He's a pressure player, cold-blooded in the clutch. And, you know, he's got another skill that you love to see in a player, the ability to create a high-quality shot for himself off the dribble. He can be dangerous from out there. As a matter of fact, he can be lethal. His first from the arc after having none in the first quarter. Keep an eye on it. Kid passes to Smith. Smith missing again. The defense got away with one there. I mean, usually he'll hurt you if you give him that kind of a shot. Logan can't get it to go. For the New York Knicks, they come into this one following a loss to Golden State. And they were really out-rebounded in that game. Put them at a huge disadvantage. Well, you get clobbered on the glass, it's always going to put you at a disadvantage, Steve. I mean, they needed to do a much better job of establishing position inside and then going after the ball. You can't just box out and have position. Go get the orange. And that's why you love this guy. I mean, tremendous work on the offensive boards. He just gets you second-chance points. And the first half ends in a close one. Now, presented by Sprint. Let's get for the Celtic. And now let's give you a chance to make your pick for today. And that'll be all for now. Thanks so much for joining us. The third quarter, just about to get underway. Welcome back to New York City, the bright beacon of the Statue of Liberty, lighting up the harbor. Look at Joe Johnson. He's really been playing well. Yeah, the points have really come in bunches for him so far, and not really a surprise because you know exactly what he can do. Well, he's been in the groove all game long, Steve, and not too many hiccups in regards to his shooting, but we also have come to expect this from him, so we're not surprised by it. And now let's check out the lineups courtesy of Gatorade all fueled up and ready to go for the second half of basketball. Setting the floor for the Knicks. Up front, it's Carmelo Anthony and Tyson Chandler. Belton is out there with the mind shump, and it's White, and at the three, the small forward. Well, on paper anyway, the Knicks probably have the most intimidating front line in the NBA with Tyson Chandler, Amari Stoudemire, and Carmelo Anthony. A lot of star power there. And Shumpert kicks to White. Anthony. The fadeaway. Rebounded by Wallace. 104 left to play in the third. Baseline try. That's good from Jackson on the assist by Evans. 13 points for Johnson. You see that trio you just mentioned, a lot of length, a lot of athleticism, Clark, a lot of skill. Yeah, they've got a good complement of players along that front line. I mean, Chandler is a terrific defender and locker room leader. And then Mari and Mello, you've got guys that really can score the ball, and they, they're free to concentrate on that. So it's a definite dynamic trio. One of the best front courts in the league, I think. Well, for him, that finger roll is almost second nature. That's a tough shot for most players. Williams. It's rebounded by New York. Anthony's got rebound number five here tonight. Last time they met in New York. Boy, that was a gut-wrenching loss in what was a, a very tight game. They, they didn't rebound well, and I think that's what they're going to have to do much better tonight. They have to be tougher inside. And here is Shepard. He's got six. Wide open look. That's good. And so Felton has the assist there. Felton has got four assists now tonight. Williams for three. And that does it for the third quarter. Both teams clicking offensively as we approach the... Tune in next Sunday. Well, welcome back as we get set to start the fourth. Who's had the Sprite uncontainable game in this one? Well, let's go to Doris Burke. 
Guys, well, it was the stretch by the Knicks that garners the uncontainable game today. You'd have had an easier time getting into Fort Knox than scoring on them this game as their defense has been airtight and allowed them to keep expanding this lead. Okay, Doris, thank you. And that was quite a run, guys. That made a big impact on where we are right now. Yeah, I think that's safe to say, Kevin. It was a major turning point. You know, they really hit on something that, in the blink of an eye, had them scoring almost at will. Well, you've got to share the credit for that kind of run. I mean, you can't just say it was all about offense. There was some stingy, stiff defense being played, too. Marshawn Brooks and Gerald Wallace, the two wings. Brooke Lopez is out there at Blotch, and it's Watson in a point. So that's the next five. Blotch dishes to Lopez. Brooks. Three-pointer. Again, Wallace missing. And here comes Smith, leading the fast break. Smith missing again. He continues to struggle from the field. But luckily for him and his team, his teammates have been able to pick him up and get the job done. Lopez with the block. And it's Wallace penetrating. That's out of bounds. Brooklyn will retain possession. Some changes for Brooklyn. Reggie Evans, he's checked in for Blatch. Johnson comes in for Marshawn Brooks. And Darren Williams is subbed in for C.J. Watson. The Knicks also changing it up. White, he's checked in for Martin. And it's a man jumpered in for J.R. Smith. Out to Wallace. Puts up a three. It's rebounded by New York. Clark, they'll be trying to take as much time off the clock as they can. Exactly. Expect to see some long possessions out of them going forward. Puts it up from 12. It falls! And he will punish an opponent for giving him that much room for mid-range. He'll hit that all day. Johnson outside. Evans. Back to Johnson. Williams kicks to Johnson. Over Shumpert. Good! What a beautiful shot to bring him to within three. Wow, huge shot. Listen to this crowd. That sounds like a rock concert in here. Well, they've been waiting to explode all game, and they finally got a reason to do so. Felton kicks to Anthony. Elbow shot is on the way. Nails it! They're looking good here, adding to this lead. Yeah, you know, time winding down here, the score and the clocks clearly in their favor. A moment to check in with Doris Burke. Doris? I was able to listen in on what the Nets coach was going over with his team. With a deficit as we approached the final buzzer, he stayed upbeat, saying, listen, we can battle back, fellas, just stay with me. I need all-out effort here, and we can bring it home. Fellas? And thanks for that story, Doris. Three-pointer, Brooks can't get it to go. So it's New York picking up the win. They pulled off this win, Clark, with respectable performances on both ends of the floor. Yeah, I think it was just really a nice, 